Hey, it's Travis here. I just want to share with everyone how we go about sharing our videos online. Uh, so this part will be just about the process of basically taking the videos from our computer or hard drive or wherever it might be and getting them onto Vimeo, YouTube, and Facebook. So let's get started. Um, first things first, I just start uploading it to all the platforms. So I have a tab up for four things right now. So we got Vimeo, YouTube, Facebook, and then I also have 17 hats up, and I'll get to why I have 17 hats up here in a second. So first off, we are going into Vimeo, and we want to go to Upload. Uh, normally it's over here in the right, unless they change their layout. Then we're going to go to Choose File, and we're going to look for our video, uh, wherever it is saved currently on the hard drive. Uh, typically it would be inside the project for the couple and it would be then inside DVD and Blu-ray where we put all of our renders and then short film whichever is the newest version of it and that will start um, I always go ahead and set everything to private link right away just so I know that it's not uploading faster than I expect and you know going public before I want it to so then I'm going to do the same thing uh, for YouTube and Facebook so uh, typically the YouTube upload is over here. Right now it's a little video icon, but I know they change it from time to time. Uh, then we're going to go here, select the same file, let that start doing its thing. Uh, Facebook, usually it's just right here on the feed. Uh, share photo and video and just make sure you're in the Bella Facebook page. I'm going to click on this, upload photo and video, and then click on the same file. <clears throat> now the only thing with Facebook is all we can really do is uh, schedule it or I think I guess back day is kind of like setting it private so we can do that as well now we're going to start plugging in some information um, I typically start with Vimeo and the reason for that is because with Vimeo it's much easier to copy and paste everything so I'll put everything in the Vimeo and then I'll take it and move it over to YouTube and Facebook alright so we're gonna go over to 17 hats I'm gonna search for the client which this one was Chris and Missy so let me see here it might be under missy yes all right and then we're going to go to questionnaire um and pull some information out of here so um they don't have their last name in this example but i believe we already have them on facebook so it should be pretty easy to tag them <clears throat> but um for the title we only use their first name Anyhow, so that doesn't matter so much that we don't have the last name. So we usually just start with the guy's name first. Just makes it so everything is the same. Uh, we use a plus symbol and then the bride's name. And then wedding narrative would what be what a short film would be, but with these being a teaser. So just put the line coming soon. And now all the good stuff goes in here. So this is uh, where we put all the vendor information as well as other information. So when it's a short film, uh, we usually title it. And I, I usually get the title just by going through the video and listening to the toast and the vows and things like that and trying to pull out maybe something that's kind of unique. So I don't know what we'll title the short film yet. Um, but going through the video, we'll figure that out. Um, I also like to pull a quote. <clears throat> so maybe something that is a little too long to be a title or something like that. So um, usually this is maybe from like the father of the bride or like the best man or the maid of honor. It can even be the bride and groom too. Just a nice little like one or two sentence quote from one of the toasts or the letters or the vows that just is kind of a summary of, you know, their story. Um, so normally I would grab those things for a sneak peek though. We don't usually have that in there. That's just for the short film. Um, so with this, we will start plugging in vendor information. So the easiest way to get a template for this is I just go over here um, when I'm logged in, open up a new tab, and then go to a previous video. Um, usually the newer the better because um, we've started to add more and more uh, to it as things have gone forward. Um, so I'm going to grab this one, which is pretty current. And then I'm just going to copy and paste all of this because a lot of this we are actually going to use. I'm going to go back over to my upload and just paste it in there. And now I'm going to delete this because we don't need it for this one. 
and then just delete all of the titles unless you know we get lucky enough and they got married at the same place um, we did the cinematography so that stays the same and we actually did the photography for this one so I would just put in our name there as well <clears throat> and then just keep continuing to delete the vendors that are not relevant to this and I already know right away this one didn't have transportation so we'll get rid of that and then all this stuff always stays the same so we have a little thing that just plugs our website and then we have some of our um, connections that we have so we have one for uh, sound stripes we have you know what's inside of our uh, bag and we have what we edited it with we have a link to our educational stuff and then we also have our Facebook and our Instagram so we always keep that the same so that always comes with it so that's why it's typically easier just to copy and paste from a previous video and then just delete the things that aren't relevant anymore and then plug in what is relevant so um, let's go back to 17 hats and we're gonna start getting information about the wedding so the ceremony and the reception for this one were at salvage one so we can just put that in there and typically what I'll do for this is I'll just delete this one and then I'll just put ceremony and reception location that way it's just one tag and we don't have to tag it multiple times I'm not sure if salvage one is in other locations so I'll go ahead and put Chicago for this one um, and then we'll go back over here so we're missing some of the vendor stuff in this one so typically um, right here we would have stuff like DJ florist things like that uh, this one they did not put that in uh, we'll have to go back and see if we had it in an email which I believe we did so sometimes it takes a little bit more tracking if they don't fill us out um, we have to go into like email and see if they sent us a list or whatever it might be so for now I'm going to just leave these blank and then we will see if we can track those down but for now we at least got the location and then obviously we have our tags because we know that we were there um, so I'm gonna just get rid of these for now for this example and I'm going to then copy all of this and I'm gonna go into YouTube and just paste all of it into here and then grab the title paste that in there too um, now we need to come up with some tags um, so usually we have some that are already kind of made most of these are probably pretty equivalent so I think all these will be fine maybe add a few more like um, the location if we had DJ information we put like the DJ in there, you know, the florist, if it was a different photographer, we could put their information in there. Uh, the main things is just like, you know, tagging the city, the location, um, what this is, you know, so wedding film, wedding video, uh, the gear, um, which is usually Sony stuff. So, you know, Sony, Sony DSLR, Sony mirrorless, things like that are just kind of nice things to have in there. And then just a bunch of variations of videographer, wedding video, wedding videographer, just things like that are uh, good tags to have. Then what's nice about Vimeo is you can actually just copy all those. So I will copy that and then I will go to YouTube and some of these I do not need that were already auto added in here. And I'll just go and paste those in there. And then we have over here. So uh, a lot of this stuff doesn't matter too much. Um, all audiences is fine. I'm going to go ahead and hit click save and then if we go to edit set settings we can get a little bit more in depth with the Vimeo one. So all this is good. Uh, typically if it was the short film we have a thumbnail that we make for that. Um, usually that goes in screens or it'll just be kind of in the root folder of the wedding project. Typically the short film we would be using this one right here that has their names on it. Um, this is just the teaser trailer though, so we saved this one for the short film So for the teaser one you just want to grab one that looks kind of nice That's a little bit different than what they're gonna see in the short film one just so they can tell the difference of the two So this one's at night, so it's a good uh, Way to tell the difference of which video is which If we're ready to go we can go ahead and set the privacy to anyone I'm gonna go ahead and do that because we're gonna be sharing this right away um, And then all of this stuff is good um, we have an album that you can add this to its wedding portfolio 
And then there's actually groups too, and sometimes it's nice just to throw in some groups um, that are related to a wedding video or a Sony and things like that. So we'll just click a few of those for the heck of it. And then we're gonna hit save. And there we go. So it is this teaser trailer is now ready on Vimeo. And let's wrap it up on the other ones as well. So YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a thumbnail and we'll just do the same thumbnail as before. And that is ready. So we'll hit done. And let me go back to this and we're gonna go ahead and set this one public too because we're gonna be sharing it tonight. And it looks like Facebook is done too. So we can actually start taking everything from here and plug it into Facebook. So we're gonna grab the title that would go right here. And it didn't wanna copy and paste. Grab that, that's gonna go right here. Then we're gonna grab the description, all of it, and drop that in here. And now this is where we start tagging. So we're gonna go, um, actually I'll back up here for a second. So a lot of times we might not have the, the vendors or venue or anything like that as um, likes on Facebook. So what we'd have to do is open up a new tab, just go to Facebook, and then start searching these down. So, you know, salvage one right here. And it looks like we don't like them, so I'm glad that we're doing this now. So I'll hit like, and then if you go to this little uh, three tab right here, you can go as like as your page, and then I will like it as the company that I'm sharing under, which right now is Bella since it's a wedding. And we're done. And then uh, after that, I would need to track down the bride and groom as well. Um, I already have their information, but it basically would be the same process. So I would type in Chris or Missy um, with their last name and try to track them down because it's typically easier if you're friends with them to tag them. Sometimes it won't let you tag them if you're not friends with them. And, uh, and it's just kind of easier for us to stay in contact with them, which is nice. So, um, so that is all ready. And now we're back here at the video upload for Facebook. Um, I'm going to go ahead and see if it'll let me tag them. Yep, there's the bride. And then let's try to find the groom. We got them tagged. I'll check in to salvage one. And then I'll make sure I tag up here too. And then sometimes it's nice to add some hashtags as well. So um, I believe their hashtag was Chris miss in July and then um, they were also actually surprisingly they were on a TV show called spouse house so you know we'll use that one as well um, we can use some things like wedding wedding day um, it doesn't seem like hashtags are as important on Facebook as Instagram so on Instagram we go a little bit crazier but this is just a little something just to have on there This looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and publish. Publish now, because we are ready. And it's processing, and there it is. Um, one thing to note, a lot of times, one thing I forgot to add on here is, sometimes I like to put watch in HD with audio for best, just something that kind of acknowledges that you know, they should check and make sure it's in HD and that they have audio if they want to get the full experience. And then what we would do normally from there is we would also then share it with the other, you know, vendors and venue. So we'll do a test run of that. So share. And we'll share it as a message. And we want to share it with salvage one. And they're not showing up. So we'll just do a. Well, if they were showing up, <laughs> maybe they don't allow private messages. I would do it that way since it's not letting me do it that way. There's another way to do that. And that would be go here. 
go to embed advanced settings and right here you get the URL of the video so you're just gonna copy that and now we'll go back over here look for salvage one and we'll just drop in a simple message So something kind of simple, um, since we did photo and video, I mentioned both. So it was a great to be at your venue for Chris and Missy's wedding. Their photos and video is almost complete. Here is a sneak peek at their wedding day. And then I added the link right there. So we would do that then with everyone, just so they have it. Um, and then once we post the short film, we'd go through and do the same process. So, and then kind of throughout we'll from time to time share you know the YouTube link as well um, if we want to maybe try to boost a little bit more on YouTube it just kind of matters how things are looking with the video um, and that would pretty much cover uh, Facebook and YouTube and Vimeo um, we don't really share Vimeo as much anymore it's the main link um, we just kind of have that so if we want to post something to our website in a cleaner link um, where we really try to push it now is Facebook and YouTube. So that pretty much sums all that up. Um, I didn't go over Instagram because that's kind of a whole different experience to get that all set up. But that pretty much covers up uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out more content coming soon.